Hey guys, just wanted to let you guys know that uh, I follow Joe a lot, that uh, we had uh, kind of a medium type spar uh, with two big guys today. We, Joe got his taste of the biggest guys he's ever had. Uh, one of them was 6'1", and probably about, I'll say, 220 to... Uh, now, well, the, the guy that was 6'1", was a 240-ish, uh, so he was a big guy. Uh, he was a thick guy. Uh, the other guy was 6'4 and a half and weighs 236 pounds and he is a big guy and uh, of course they didn't go full long or nothing and of course Joe's not that big and doesn't weigh that much but uh, he held his own and he realized uh, helped boost his confidence because he realized that he could knock a big a big man around uh, of course these are not pro boxers but a big confidence booster for him because he realized that hey I'm gonna be able to push back big big men uh, I'm gonna be able to drive them backwards of course if he gets in the ring with Muhammad Ali it have to he's gonna to have to get a lot bigger but uh, right now at the weight he is uh, that's another little thing we hadn't had been able to weigh him and uh, he's 180 right now so he's lost about 10 ish pounds and uh, uh, he may lose a little more I'm sitting here looking because he's over here he may lose uh, it's possible he could get down to 175 uh, maybe even 170 I'm not not sure about that but because uh, we always got a little reverse thing when we have a layoff we're always training but uh, we have periods like when we were moving here a few weeks prior to the move to up in where we're at now we've been here nine or ten days I believe going we're in the second week here and uh, 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 we're in the third week here, so it's about three weeks before the move to three weeks after the move. We hadn't been going full blast. He, we just really started going full on. And our full loan right now is not our full loan because uh, he's getting back into the giving it 100 plus percent now. And it's going to take him a while to get up to, to, uh, to that. Uh, or the previous 100%. So kudos for him. Boy, he handled himself perfectly. And uh, when he got in there with the biggest guy, and these are Venezuelans, and of course, Venezuelans don't play this mess. They will fight. They're like Mexicans. They will fight. <laughs> so, uh, or Panamanians. I mean, these, these boys will fight. And these were full-grown, uh, mid-twenties, big, big, muscular men. So he did really good. I'm real proud of him. And, of course, again, it was not full-on. Uh, nobody was trying to blast anybody. Uh, he took both of them. Uh, he went back-to-back -back with rounds on, with both of them. And uh, was well aware he could have took both guys into deep water and knocked them out lickety split so uh, that these guys are in good shape too but they were like oh my god how do you you know you're saying he's not in, he's not in that good of shape right now well good god you know because uh, these guys work out a couple of hours every day and uh, and and I had to explain to them boxing's a different way different sport uh, so uh, it's a way different thing and you got to train for it in specific ways that, that they don't train in but uh, damn I was sitting there operating the stopwatch I didn't get no footage of it but I believe both of them on one of their phones 
uh, got some footage. So if I can get that from them, uh, maybe they can convert those over to WhatsApp and send it to him and go through that, send it to my email, and then me download it. Uh, it, it was by no means full on, but it showed Joe uh, that when he's encountering big, huger odds that he doesn't have to barrel forward. Uh, just work them, wear them down, whittle that tree down. So it was a good experience for him. Very happy for him. Very proud of him. He was he was nervous. I mean, both these guys were physically imposing to him, and uh, they were big men. And he did he did a good job. He helped him realize where he actually is and how good uh, how special he is. I'll say that. Uh, won't say how good, how special he is, the opportunities that he has. Uh, the door is wide open for him. So it's a good confidence booster for him. And uh, we will have, uh, there'll be more sparring coming up with them. It, it, it won't be heavy, but we will be, uh, maybe those big guys will get comfortable and feel heavy with it. And then we will also have uh, Diego, hopefully regularly, but of course they, you can't be hard sparring. Uh, Diego can go hard on him, but Joe can't go hard on him. So we'll see what happens. Things are getting a lot better here. We're meeting a lot more people, and we there's a couple of gyms we're going to be hitting in the area here where Joe will be able to get some real good working over. Uh, so we can just really figure out what we got. But every everything that he's done, uh, every win he has, every spar he's had, uh, he's always uh, coming out on top. So we're batting a thousand right now, and uh, uh, we're going to keep pushing forward. So I'm so thankful to the good Lord. Uh, blessings bestowed on us uh, as the result of Joe's decisions to work hard uh, blessings are coming from the Lord and I, I truly believe that the good Lord uh, really loves the people that work harder and helps them and gets them in situations that helps them for the growth they need and, and the things that they need uh, for what they're trying to achieve. And uh, uh, I truly believe that. And I want you to believe that too. But, uh, everything's going good, great, and perfect. We're going to be going back over to the gym here uh, around 6.30 our time. We spent two hours over there today. Uh but we're going to take two o'clock at, at our two o'clock workout. We're going to start taking for just him because uh, we're we're you know when you get others involved, it's it's taking away from him. So I'm going to set two o'clock aside for him, and the six o'clock works that we do, we will uh, uh, we will do with others. So. Uh, everything's working great. Just wanted to tell everybody that. Want to tell all my friends. Uh, heck, you know what? And I guess I, I will almost imagine that a lot of y'all feel the same way. Uh, our our dearest friends seem to be our networked online friends. Uh, they're the people that got our back. They're the people that listen to us. They're the people that we got their backs. Uh, uh, and the people that we listen to as well. And they're the people we pray for and that we love. So uh, we just, for us, we got a special thing going on online with the wonderful group of people uh, that are just really great. And we are very appreciative to everybody. So we want to offer God's blessings and we want to tell everybody, if you get a knock on that door, from the true Jesus, answer it, and you will be happy you did. Much love, everybody.